Hi, thank you guys for joining me for the story time today. My name is Joellen Wilhoyt and I wrote a book called Safety Safari and it's an all-encompassing safety book to, to read with your caregiver, your teacher, your parents. And the reason why I wrote this book is because when we love and care about things, people, animals, we want to make sure they're protected and they're safe. So when I had my son, I wrote this book so that I could always share with him the ways to be safe in this world. So I'm going to read it to you now. Safety Safari. Join safari animals as they lead you through an amazing safety adventure on your quest to become a safety star. Have a safe journey. So you should always know how to write your name and you should know your address. Practice writing your address so you know where you live and your phone number. Um, also, it's important that if anything ever happens that is an emergency, an emergency only, you dial 911. Look around you, keep your eyes open wide, listen to what is happening around you with big ears, and lead by taking action to stay safe. Look, listen, and lead to be a safety star. Stay close to your parents in crowded places. If you get lost in a public place, such as a store or restaurant, stand where people can see you. Your parents will be looking for you. Look for a police officer, a store clerk, with a name tag or a parent with children and ask for help. Wait with that person until your parents arrive. Do not leave with anyone. So the look, listen, and lead question is, Charlie Cheetah has gotten separated from her mother. If you were the cheetah, what would you do? And you can feel free to pause this video and discuss that with whoever you're reading the story with. If you're home alone and answer the phone, never tell the caller that your parents aren't home. Say they are busy or maybe don't even answer the phone. If you're home alone and someone comes to your home, do not answer your door. Do not open the door unless your parents give you permission to let that specific person inside. So the look, listen, and lead is, should the meerkats open the door? Should these meerkats open the door? Why or why not? We have critters in the backyard. My dog's back here <laughs> barking with another dog. So that's fitting, right? Because we're talking about animals. Never approach a vehicle for any reason without your parents' permission. A grown-up should not ask you or any child for directions to help them find something like a pet. So the look, listen, and lead is what might happen if the oryx moves closer to the Nile crocodile. This is called an oryx and that's a Nile crocodile. Tell your parents, teacher, or another trusted adult if someone makes you feel uncomfortable, tries to make you keep a secret, or touches your body in places covered by a bathing suit. If you feel uncomfortable or frightened, you do not have to be polite. Scream no, attract lots of attention, and run to, what, sorry, run to where people are and tell someone you trust. So the look, listen, and lead is, what could the vervet monkey do to get help from animals close by? It is safer to be with other people when you play outside or go somewhere. Get permission from your parents before you go anywhere with a person, even if you know the person. Make sure you tell your parents where you're going, who you'll be with, and where you'll, when you return. Your parents should be told if any plans change just for your protection in case something happens. The look, listen, and lead is, is the lion safer playing in a group? What should the lion do before it goes somewhere different with this group? Internet safety. While using the internet, the computer, or another electronic device, never give out identifying or personal information, such as your address or telephone number, the name or location of your school, your parents' work address or telephone number, 
or a picture of yourself. Sometimes a person might try to trick you on the internet by pretending to be your age when they aren't. If someone sends you a message that makes you feel uncomfortable or they invite you to meet them, tell your parents or a trusted adult. Never respond to these messages. So the look, listen, and lead is someone contacts you on the internet and says they go to your school, but you don't know them. They ask you for your phone number and where you live. What should you do? The entrances to your school are locked to keep everyone safe. The school office has to unlock the door to let anyone in during school hours. Do not open doors to strangers, other students, or even adults you may know. Tell your teacher if you see anything unusual inside the school or outside the school. If you see someone who looks or acts strange or scary, tell a teacher. So the look, listen, and lead is, you see a strange person hanging around the school playground several days in a row. What should you do? Let a teacher know if another student bothers you or frightens you. If you see a child or adult bothering or hurting another student, you should also tell a teacher. Be aware of what is happening around you and to the people around you. Pay close attention to everything you are told to do during safety drills such as fire, tornado, earthquake, or lockdown drills. So you'll be prepared in case those situations really do happen. The look, listen, and lead is what should you do during a safety drill? Home fire safety. Create a fire escape plan with your family and practice it. Find two ways to get out of every room with your eyes closed. It's dark in a fire. In case of a fire, you'll hear the fire alarm. You need to leave your house quickly because fire spreads fast. Is your doorknob hot or your door hot? When you touch it, don't open the door. Get out through another door or window. Crawl to avoid breathing smoke. Smoke can be more dangerous than the flame. If you catch on fire, stop, drop to the ground and roll back and forth until the fire's out. Look, listen, and lead is where could your family members meet outside if there's a fire inside your home? And tornado safety, possible signs of a tornado. Large hail, dark low-lying clouds, and dark greenish coloring sky. That's, that's what you'll notice if there's a tornado. Tornadoes make a roaring sound like a train. When you're in a building, go to the lowest floor level, like a basement. If there's no basement, go to a, clo a closet or a hallway. Do not stay inside a trailer or mobile home and go to a sturdy building. Stay away from windows and doors and protect your head. When you are outside without shelter, run to a ditch or an area lower than the ground and lie down and cover your head with your hands. Look, listen, and lead is the tornado warning is on your television or radio. You should seek shelter immediately. Is that true or is that false? Always remember to look, listen, and lead to be a safety star. And that is my safety safari book. It has a lot of other elements to it, but that is, a, that is it in a nutshell. So I hope you guys stay safe and healthy, and thank you so much for reading my book with me.